Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? We'll look at all of that today for Virgo. So let's get into it for Virgo. Spirit, angels. What messages do you have for Virgo? As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. All right, let's get into this for Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo in love for the month of... Whoa. Free yourself. Flew out first. It's time to take back control of your life. What else for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo spirit? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I keep getting this card, getting to know each other. I feel there's a lot of revelations happening or a lot of um, communications about feelings, intentions, revealing things that haven't been said before. Like that's a very common theme. So let's see for Virgo. What messages do you have, Spirit? For Virgo? Any messages for Virgo? What messages do you have, Spirit, for Virgo? King of Cups Reverse. What else? Oh, I got two. The Hangman Reverse, Three of Swords Reverse. Wow, Nine of Pentacles. There's that Freedom card. Free yourself, be free, independent. I feel like Virgo, you or this other person are stuck. Feeling like you can't quite become free. There could be some sort of interference here with the Three of Swords reverse or some sort of healing that needs to take place here. Let's see so we can clarify. King of Cups Reverse. This is someone that is not able to see something clearly. Um, not the most emotionally balanced. Um, and that's usually because there's something going on, you know, and they're not reacting the, in the best manner. And that could be you or this person that you're dealing with. So let's see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. And this Nine of Pentacles, for me, this is a Virgo card. So I feel like you're here in your reading. So let's clarify, Spirit. Help me clarify for Virgo. <laughs> I haven't even asked my question. Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding back here. Why is the King of Cups reverse? Let me move these over. Why is the King of Cups reverse? Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this King of Cups is thinking of a Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about the King of Cups reverse. Why is the King of Cups reverse here? Judgment. Wow. Some sort of awakening, looking back at the past with new eyes. Rebirth, resurrection. Why is the King of Pentacles, not Pentacles, King of Cups reverse? Six of Cups reverse. This has to do with the past. 
there's some sort of attachment to the past here. Like someone's revisiting the past thinking of the past with the judgment card in the six of cups reverse. Someone's probably thinking of the mistakes they made in the past. This could be you or your person, Virgo. Thinking about wanting a uh, second chance with the past. Perhaps something happened in the past that you are still holding on to. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're ready. Why is the hangman in reverse? The hangman in reverse. Three of Wands, reverse. Tell me more about this hangman reverse. Nine of Wands reverse, okay. Tell me more about the same man reverse. Seven of Swords. King of Swords at the bottom. Hangman reverse, this is someone that is typically unable to see a situation from a different point of view they are stuck unable to get down from this feeling of suspension um, not taking a lot of action but i feel like because i have the nine of pentacles here it's like someone wants to become unstuck like they want to free themselves and I feel like they're doing that in a strategic way with the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords here. I feel like this is someone that's being very analytical and logical about this. Trying to figure out a way to become free. I feel like they're afraid to miss the boat. Either you or this person. They're afraid to miss the boat. Um, maybe a lot of time has passed and there's frustration that things aren't moving quick enough. Um, and then with the Nine of Wands reverse, it's almost like this person is very close to giving up, but it's like, like they want like that last push. It's like, the, regardless of what's been happening, they're not really ready to give in. Even though in their mind, they have to think of a way out that might be, I don't know, with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like it might not be the most ethical or the most smooth practical why is the three of swords reverse knight of cups reverse why is the three of swords reverse nine of pentacles again why is the Three of Swords reverse? The Devil reverse. Yeah, this is about becoming free. The Devil reverse, Nine of Pentacles. This is about becoming free of an unhealthy attachment or a situation that you found yourself in that you probably regret being in that position or making a certain choice that led you down a certain path. I feel like you're thinking about the past and how you ended up where you are now if this isn't you virgo it's your person this is you know what's going on in the connection so either of you could be here i feel like there's some sort of interference possibly a capricorn or a devil type energy um something that keeps someone bound um that's not very healthy and i feel like someone's just been heartbroken um again not dealing well with things emotionally they could be um in a situation where this could be a situation where there's like a third party that keeps someone from speaking up with the Knight of Cups reverse, which is weird because usually I don't get that message with the Knight of Cups reverse. They tend to just tell you, you know, in a typical, um, most of the time, I should say, they try to, there's someone that tries to tell you what you want to hear, but I'm not picking that up this time. Ten of Pentacles reverse. You could be getting out of a long-term commitment, a family situation, Virgo. There could be um, children involved here. 
finances tied up here. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Gosh, what is going? Okay. Ten of pen ten of wands. Sorry, not ten of pentacles. Ten of wands. Five of wands reverse. Two of pentacles reverse. I feel like you're tired of the fighting, the arguing, uh, the conflict, the drama. Um, I think you've been juggling a lot. There's been a lot on your shoulders with the Ten of Wands or on your person. Um, one of you here has been carrying a burden and trying to do too much. Um, maybe you've been putting a lot of, um, making a lot of the effort in this connection or um, are the one that's putting in most of the focus or work or whatever. One person cannot do it alone. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's almost like you want to be free of all of this. So how do they feel about you or this connection? I'm using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. By the time this video is out, this should be out in the shop. Link down in the description box if you're interested in this deck. It's my first physical deck. I really love it. How are they thinking or feeling about you or this connection, Virgo? How are they thinking or feeling about Virgo? How are they thinking or feeling about Virgo, please? I'm having doubts. I want you. bottom of the deck I'm afraid to tell you how I feel interesting so I feel like this is someone who again they're thinking about you or this connection um, and I feel like this th this connection between you and this person Virgo I feel like there's a past here let's see let's see what else we can get about how they're thinking or feeling about you how are they thinking or feeling about Virgo. How are they thinking or feeling about Virgo? How are they thinking or feeling about Virgo? Four of Wands. What are they thinking of being about Virgo? Stability, harmony, peace. Three of Swords and the Hierophant Reverse. There's something here about a commitment, Virgo. I feel like either, excuse me, I'm, my stomach is rumbling. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I don't know if you are in a commitment already that is not doing very well or your person is in a commitment that's not doing very well i feel like there's a lot of pain disappointment and then there's the eight of swords i feel like this is the card about i'm having doubts someone's overthinking i think it's your person they feel stuck and i feel like they're, they're stuck in a commitment that's not doing well they're feeling like Maybe there's no way out of their situation. Why is the Four of Wands here? Two of Pentacles, again with the juggling. Tell me about the Four of Wands. I'll use the four of wands here. Eight of pentacles. See, there's someone I feel that's doing a lot of work here. There's a lot of work that someone's putting into something. And it's like they're trying to just, they're doing all of this work and they're like exhausted. Seven of wands. And again, it's almost like they're doing all this work and there's still like oppositions, challenges, obstacles. It's like never ending. This person could also be thinking about your connection. Like they want to put in work. They want to fight for this, but they have something else that they're juggling. Why is the three swords here? 
that's way too many. Why is the three of swords here? For Virgo. The wheel reverse, because something's not working out or it wasn't as you expected. Maybe time is not on your side or luck doesn't feel like it's on your side. Tell me about the three of swords. The Hermit Reverse, there you are, Virgo. Someone uh, very withdrawn, this person could have ghosted you or there's very little communication. Um, perhaps someone is thinking a little bit too much about what they have to do. Uh, maybe they're ignoring their intuition or not wanting to face the truth of a situation. Can I get one more for the Three of Swords? The Sun Reverse. Yeah, there's this, there's this unhappiness. Um, all three major arcanas. Huge energy shifts here. There's like heartbreak here. When this person thinks about you, Virgo, they think about heartbreak, disappointment, about how things didn't work out, about almost like how they wish they could do things differently. Maybe they want to talk to you, reach out to you. Why is the Hierophant Reverse? It's a higher font reverse. Yeah, Knight of Swords. I feel like this person wants to talk to you, Virgo, and I feel like they want to talk to you about something that maybe they didn't tell you the truth about in the past with Ace of Swords reverse. Maybe there was deception here or just a lack of clarity. This person could be wanting to open up and reveal themselves to you in some way. Jeez. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's almost like they, there's something coming to this to the to the surface here, or you're gonna be seeing this person clearly. Maybe they're seeing you clearly. Tell me more about the higher font reverse. I think this is definitely them wanting to reach out. Yeah, the high priest is reverse. This is some something's coming to light here. Someone's opening up, and I feel like they're opening up when where they didn't before. What are their true intentions towards Virgo? What are their true intentions towards Virgo, please? What are their true intentions towards Virgo? Are your true intentions towards Virgo? Hyena. Yeah, this person has not been um, honest with you because they're scared of rejection. They maybe lack confidence here. I feel like they also are wearing some sort of a mask when it comes to you. Snake. And I feel like this person, again, they feel like time is running out in some way. There's potential here, but if they don't take advantage, they might lose this opportunity. So what's next for this connection? I'm going to pick a few cards here. What is the potential outcome spare? What's next? Oh my gosh, the Page of Swords wanted to jump out there. What's next for this connection? They're afraid to tell you how they feel. I feel like they're also, it's like the doubts that they're having. It's like, do, does Virgo feel the same way? Is this, you, yeah, High Priestess. This is something that I feel like your person has kept this to themselves. They haven't revealed something. There is a lack of clarity, some sort of secret here. Like a secret admirer or someone who was never open about something regarding this connection. 